In 2007, this chart illustrated what you had to do in order to gain access to the raid content of the Burning Crusade. Hello everyone, my name is Icosiol, and today we're going to make sense of that ever so famous attunement diagram because we're going to have to do it all over again. Raid content in the Burning Crusade had a much different design in terms of access than it was in the vanilla version. In WoW Classic, you'll remember that each tier came out with various patches as Classic progressed. The Burning Crusade actually launched with tier 4, 5, and half of tier 6 being available. However, to gain entry to each raiding tier, members of your raiding party had quests that needed to be completed first to have any chance at conquering the content. In this guide, I'm going to make sense of that chart you saw at the beginning of this video and help you gain access to every raid tier available at the launch of TBC Classic. Tier 4 raids consist of Magtheridon's Lair, Gruul's Lair, and Karazhan. The first two on that list require only that you are level 70, however Karazhan requires you to complete a long quest chain in order to acquire the Master's Key to gain entry. The quest line will require you to have access to the Shadow Labyrinth, Architraz, and the Black Morass dungeons. For more information on how to get access to those dungeons, you can find a link to my TBC Dungeon Access Guide below or click on the card here. Karazhan is located in the Deadwind Pass in the Eastern Kingdoms back in Azeroth. There you need to speak to the Archmage Alturus of the Violet Eye, who is found at the base of the Tower of Karazhan. You will receive the quest Arcane Disturbances and Restless Activity. These two quests can be done by yourself and both are required in order to proceed. Arcane Disturbances will send you into two caverns near the entrance of Karazhan to collect readings from underground water sources such as a pond and a well using the Violet Scrying Crystal. Along the way, you should have gathered the ten ghostly essences needed to complete Restless Activity from the mobs you encounter below. Once complete, head back to Archmage Alturus who will now send you to Dalaran in the Alturok Mountains and report to Archmage Cedric who is located here, and complete contact from Dalaran. You're going to travel this long distance just for Cedric to give you the quest Khadgar, which has you immediately report to Khadgar at the Terrace of Light in Shatrath. Khadgar will now give you the first meaningful quest called Entry into Karazhan, where you need to acquire the first key fragment within the Shadow Labs. This is your first of four dungeons you need to complete, and this first fragment can be found behind Murmur, who is the final boss of the instance. Kill the fragment Guardian, collect the first key fragment, and head back to Khadgar in Shatrath City to turn in your quest. Your next quest from Khadgar is called the Second and Third Fragments, and will send you to both the Steam Vault and Coilfang Reservoir, and the Architraz at Tempest Keep. There's no requirements to get into the Steam Vault, but the Architraz will require that you either have a flying mount or a warlock to summon you, and at least one person in your group that can open the gate to Architraz. The second key fragment is found in the Steam Vault and can be found in the Arcane Container at the very bottom of the water next to the first boss Hydromancer Thespia. Once again, just kill the Fragment Guardian and loot the second key fragment. That leaves the third key fragment, which is found in the middle of the Architraz. Fight your way past Zarekith, and when you reach a room occupied by a bunch of Voidwalkers, you'll want to look to your right. There you will see the Arcane Container. Clear the room out a bit, open the container, and kill its guardian to loot the third key fragment. Finish the dungeon if you'd like, and return to Khadgar for the next step in this story. Khadgar now gives you the quest called the Master's Touch, and this is when you'll want to make sure you've completed your Black Morass attunement. Once you're in, you'll speak to Sayat and begin the opening of the Dark Portal event in the instance. Complete the Black Morass and speak to Medivh to turn in your quest and receive your final quest, Return to Khadgar. Turn this in to receive the Master's Key and another quest called the Violet Eye that continues the Karazhan questline. Congratulations on completing your attunement for entry into Karazhan. Your Tier 5 raids consist of Serpent Shrine Cavern within the Coilfang Reservoir and the Eye located at Tempest Keep. 
To gain access to both will require some specific accomplishments to be completed in Heroic Dungeons and Tier 4 Raids, and remember that everyone in your raid must have completed these as well. Since Serpent Shrine Cavern has the least amount to do, let's start discussing Tier 5 with the SSC. Your attunement to Serpent Shrine begins with Scarthus the Heretic, who was found after the first boss within Heroic Slave Pens. He will offer you the quest The Mark of Vash, which leads immediately to the Cudgel of Kardesh. You're required to bring him two items so that he can form the Cudgel, and grant you the Mark of Vash, which will allow you entry. The two items he needs are the Earthen Signet from Gruul the Dragon Killer, and the Blazing Signet from Nightbane in Karazhan. Since all you need to be is level 70 and access to Heroic Mode Dungeons in Coilfang Reservoir, it's best to start this quest early while your guild is still progressing through Tier 4, that way there's less backtracking to do. Once that quest is complete and you have the Mark of Vash, you will now be able to enter the Serpent Shrine Caverns. Gaining access to the Eye is far more involved than SSC, and it begins after you complete the long quest chain The Cipher of Damnation, which starts with the Hand of Gul'dan. This quest is given to you in Shadowmoon Valley by Earthmender Splinthoof for the Horde and Earthmender Sophurus for the Alliance. Once that quest line is complete, you will receive a letter in your mail from Khadgar asking you to speak to him at Shatrath City. Khadgar asks you to speak to Adal, who will then give you a series of trial quests to further prove yourself. The first is the Trial of Mercy, which will have you acquire the unused Axe of the Executioner from Kargath Bladefist within the Shattered Halls of Hellfire Citadel on Heroic Difficulty. The trick to this is your group has 80 minutes to reach and kill Kargath after you have killed Grand Warlock Nethercurse. Do that, and you will have completed the trial successfully. The second trial is the Trial of Strength, which has you complete two more heroic dungeons to retrieve Calithresh's Trident and Murmur's Essence. Calithresh is the final boss found in the Steam Vault of Coilfang Reservoir, and Murmur is the final boss in the Shadow Labyrinth of Akendun. No special time requirements needed for these items, just simply kill them on heroic mode, collect the items, and you're ready for your next trial. The third trial is the Trial of Tenacity, which will require you to rescue Millhouse Manastorm, who is held captive in the Architraz. Like the other trials, this must be done on heroic mode. Simply reach the final boss and make sure Millhouse doesn't die during that final encounter. Do that, and you're ready for the final trial. The Trial of Mactheridon is the last step in your attunement, and it requires you to kill the Tier 4 raid boss in Mactheridon's lair. There's no special timings or requirements to this trial. Just simply kill Magtheridon and you'll be granted the Tempest Key from Adal and also receive the Phoenix Fireband Ring. Now get your allies attuned and go kill yourself a Sun King. The Tier 6 raids consist of the Battle of Mount Hyjal and the Black Temple. However, since Black Temple didn't become available until Patch 2.2, I will only discuss Mount Hyjal in this video. I will go over the Black Temple attunement in a later video before the Black Temple is released. The Battle of Mount Hyjal attunement quest is called the Vials of Eternity, and you can get this quest from Sora Dormi, who is found in the Caverns of Time in Tanaris. All that is required to get this quest is that you're level 70, so if you get it before you have even begun to raid, you're going to have it in your quest log for a rather long time. You're required to collect the vile remnants from both Lady Vash in the Serpent Shrine Cavern and Prince Kaelthas in the Eye. That means everything that I went over from the beginning of this video must have been completed first, and if TBC Classic begins with Patch 2.0, you're going to find obtaining these two remnants a very tall order. If you do get these items, just turn them into Sora Dormi, be granted friendly reputation with the Scale of Sands, access to the Battle of Mount Hyjal, and start upgrading your Band of Eternity Ring. Thank you very much for watching this video on Raid Attunements of the Burning Crusade. If you enjoyed this guide, please give it a like, subscribe, and click on the bell to be notified of new content I create for Classic TBC. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Ecosio Classic WoW, where I give updates on my stream schedule and talk all things classic. If you'd like to watch some of my other content, you can click on any of these links here. Thank you again for watching, and remember when Illidan said, you're not prepared, he was talking about all these attunements.